Question number five. A colony of bees is being studied. The number of bees in the colony at the start of the study was 30,000. Three years after the study, the number of bees in the colony is 34,000. So they say that the mo a model predicts that the number of bees in the colony will increase by P percentage if P percentage each year and they form a geometric sequence. Assuming the model find the value of P, that means they want you to find the percentage increase giving your answer to two decimal place. It has three marks. Find percentage increase in 2DP and this question has three marks. When you read the question, we know for sure that it has something to do with sequence because whenever you read a word problem, especially for this uh, pure math too, you read a word problem and it says that uh, something starting with this value and increasing or decreasing every year, we know for sure that it has something to do with sequence, but we don't know whether it's a arithmetic or geometric sequence. But in this particular question, it's stated clearly that the uh, increment is, uh, follows a geometric sequence. So when you read the question, the number of bees in the colony at first is 30,000. So we take it as our first term A. First term A or A1. Take it as A1. Then after first year, after first year, we don't know what is, uh, what are the number of, uh, the total number of bees. Take it as A2. After first year. That means after first year. After second year, it will be A3. After third year, it will be A4, but the A4 is given which is 34,000. So in your question, if you read the question carefully, they say, after, after third year, the number of bees in the colony is 34,000. So we are starting from 30,000. After first year, A2. After second year, A3. After third year, A4. Do not take it as third term. Take it as fourth term because after third year, it's a fourth term. In geometric sequence, nth term is a r power n minus 1. We know for sure. The r is the common ratio which, which is not given. But the fourth term is a r to the power 4 minus 1 which is given 34,000. And your first term a is 30,000. Simplify this and take logarithm or something and find r. You bring this term here, so your R cube is 34 upon 3 zero. So your R will be, R will be cube root of 34 upon 3 zero. So the answer is 1.0426. You can take it as 0, 0.4. That's our common ratio. That's not the answer. That's our common ratio. R is 1.0426. They want you to find the percentage increase. Percentage increase every year. So that means uh, there are two ways you can find the percentage increase. Use this common ratio and multiply by the first term. AR will be your second, uh, second term. A times R. So when you multiply this by one point. When you multiply the first term by this common ratio, you have 31278. That's our second term. So compare the first term and second term. How much is the increment? The increase is 1278. So how do we find the percentage increase? 1278 for the initial value. So for 100, that's how we find the percentage. So when you find the percentage, 4.26 is the percentage increase. That is one method of doing it. Another one, it is same like compound interest. Every year it is increasing. Once you got the common ratio, you minus it, you minus 1 from this. You minus 1 from this, this common ratio, and multiply it by 100. That is your percentage increase. 
So one point when you minus it will be 0 0.0426 when you multiply by 100 you have 0 0.0426 into 100 you got the same percentage 4.26 percentage you can use any method but do not write the common ratio as your answer because they want you to find the percentage increase and write it in two decimal place two decimal place this question has three marks part b According to the model, at the end of n years of study, the number of bees in the colony exceeds 75,000. Find showing all ships in your working the smallest integer value of n. This question has 5 marks. Okay, this question says at the end of n years, at the end of n years, the number of bees in the colony exceeds 75,000. It actually started from 30,000, starting is 30,000, number of bees in the colony at the beginning is 30,000. After first year, it's our term 2. After, this is after first year. After second year, term 3. After third year, term 4. So now the part B says, at the end of n years, that means after nth year, after nth year it will be a n plus 1 because third year 4 second year 3 nth year it will be n plus 1 it is n plus 1 term in a common in a uh, geometric sequence the nth term is r a r to the power n minus 1 but this is for the nth term n plus 1 term substitute n is n plus 1 here a r power n plus 1 minus 1 that is the n plus 1 term a r power this minus 1 which is a r to the power n so this term after n years that means the number of uh, bees in the colony after n years is this which exceeds 75,000 so a r to the power n exceeds 75,000 that means it's greater than 75,000 Substitute A value and R value and solve it. A is 30,000 and now R is 1.0426 to the power N is greater than 75,000. Bring this 30,000 here. So 1.0426 to the power capital N is greater than 75 by 30. 75 by 30 and uh, take log with them on both side so it will be n log n log 1.0426 will be greater than logarithm of 75 upon 30 so n will be greater than log 75 upon 30 divided by this term 1.0426 find this using your calculator even if you don't want to keep this symbol, never mind, take it as equal. Take it as equal and solve it. Find n. Find n. If you get a decimal number, round, if you got a whole number, keep it as it is. That's your answer. If you got a decimal number, round it to next, next whole number. So we have 21.9 something. 9 something. So the next whole number is 22. Even this number, it is not rounding the decimal numbers, no. Even the number is 21.001, you always round it to next number. Always round it to, because we are talking about number of terms. This means at 21st term, and this is 22nd term, 21st term, your summation is not, uh, the 21st term is not 75,000. It should be less than 70,000. 75,000 somewhere here so they say that the number of terms where this exceeds the number of bees in the colony exceeds 75,000 so you need to look for the next one if you got a whole number that's good keep it as it is but if it is a decimal number we got 21.9 round it to the next number next integer which is 22.